Once upon a time, there was a passionate group of people who lived in a small street in Neath. They decided that they wanted to change the way things were where they lived. They talked to their neighbours and soon realised that they were not alone in wanting things to change. This is how Ethel Street Friends and Neighbours Lions, or FAN for short, was born and their story continues. Well, speaking as a community first coordinator for Neath East Area, I have to say that the FAN Community Alliance, based in Ethel Street, are a brilliant example of what can be done. All it takes is for one or two people to get together with some enthusiasm and we can see that attitudes and the whole outlook of an area can be transformed. In Ethel Street, everybody's so much happier now. Local people are getting together and enjoy each other's company. They engage in activities like the big lunch, putting on shows, charity work, film nights, community cleanups, and many other things. Another great thing about Fan Alliance is they want to help others. They're really keen to help similar groups get established across the area. They want to help. So Fan is a street now that was one end of Arthur Street, didn't know the other half existed. And uh, when people started dying and people buying houses and putting tenants in, we didn't know who's going to have. We've had naughty people over the years, got into them. And we know now the owners of these houses. So any problems you have, we get in touch with the owners and not the tenants. Because a lot of people want to come to live in Ether Street, whereas a lot of people want to leave Ether Street. Some, like my wife Irene, she was born there and she came back there. She won't leave now. I wanted to go back to where I was born. It's the best thing we ever did. And I wouldn't move from there now. I was never afraid of going out on my own. But I think the latter few years, I'm, I'm inclined to do this. I look behind me, especially if, if John isn't with me. I'm, I am a bit wary because there's so much problems around the area. You don't know who's who, who you can trust, you don't know. And I, I mean, drugs is a big problem. But uh, as regards going out, I am wary. I'm okay in the day, but I am wary in the evenings. If, it, if it's dark, I'm a bit... Uh, Nervous. The problems are not in the street at the moment. Anyway, we don't get much trouble down here at all. I think this community business with the street and like Cecil Street are coming into it as well. I think it's an excellent idea because it brings people together that perhaps won't see each other. I notice a difference where my son and daughter-in-law live. They live in Skewen. I mean, they don't see their neighbours from one week to another. It's a different community, and I got help down here definitely. If anybody's in trouble, they're there, they're running through. And that had been like it. When I was young, and then, like we say, it was a gap. But now it's, it's come back, definitely come back. I feel that people are keeping an eye on other people a lot more now because they know each other, which they didn't necessarily do before. So I think it's like the old community spirit type thing has sort of been brought back to this community. I'm glad that the street changed because it's like a lot more fun now. Like I said, there's a more friendly atmosphere. You can talk to anybody. It's not boring. It's not isolated or anything. And like, there's always something going on, so you're never bored. All the adults are like easy to approach, easy to talk to, and you can have a laugh with them and just talk to them about stuff. When I was a boy, just outside Oxford, a little town called Abingdon, it was exactly the same as it is in Ethel Street at the moment. You went in and out of each other's houses, everybody helped each other out. It's just like being a boy again. It really is. It's fantastic. I am a supporting adult with the mini fans. I like to see the kids enjoying themselves. The kids show me respect. I like that being as I am older. It's keeping me young. What I'd like to see in the future is other streets like us because it'd be better for the generation that's growing up now to be friendlier and people won't think that youth are thugs and no good. With the community spirit being the way it is now, people have a better outlook on youth to what they used to. I've lived in Ethel Street for 90 years and when we were children we had a lovely childhood. I had good parents, godly parents. And the neighbours, they all paid one for the other. If anyone was sick, they all ran to the door to see what they could do. If they needed anything, bedding or anything at all, they were there to help them. Everyone, no exceptions. And if anyone needed help, people were there to help them. We were a loving, happy community. Then, as the years went on, 
things altered for quite a few years. I thought I was living in a strange land, lonely. Nobody was bothered about anybody else. There was druggies here and drunks and the police came in in the night. Hospitals, one thing and the other, till in the end, I thought, oof, I've had enough of this. I'm going to look and get from you. People were having druggies in. We were up half the night, frightened to death. I felt like a stranger. I used to think if anything happened to me in the night, I got no one to call on because everybody seemed to have drifted away, you know. But as things passed on, they were moving out one by one. And this last couple of years, it's going back when we were all like a happy family. Everyone seems to be concerned about everybody else. Anything wrong, they're all running up. And it makes you feel that you've got someone that if you was in desperate need, you'd only have to ring or touch the door and they'd be here to help you. And Irene, she's the gem of the street. To me, I've only got to pick the phone up, her and Ralph, they, uh, I don't go to pay a bill. They cease to it all. Marvellous. But I have enjoyed the street parties. And I think there was one after the war finished. I've had lovely neighbours. And I don't think I've ever had a crossword with anyone in the street. But if I can help, I will. And if they come and ask me and I've got it, they can have it. We're back where we started now, happy family.